On his 16th birthday, Peter discovers that Norman Osborne and the Six are on the loose, targeting his family. While searching for Osborne and his team, he saw the Punisher aiming his sniper rifle at Captain. Peter swung down and pushed Cap out of the way, taking the bullet instead. After managing to regain consciousness and dress his wound with webbing, Peter confronts Osborne and the Six, but grows weaker as the battle progresses. Aunt May shoots Electro, incapacitating most of the Six. Peter then focuses on Osborne, but he proves to be too powerful, shrugging off most of Peter's attacks. Just as Osborne is about to deliver a fatal blow, Mary Jane intervenes by ramming a truck into him. Peter lifts the truck and crushes Osborne beneath it but is caught in the explosion. Suffering severe injuries, surrounded by everyone, Peter takes his final breath. Norman dies with a smirk, knowing he has succeeded in killing Spider-Man. The public was now well aware Peter Parker was Spider-Man. All of New York City mourned him, and Tony plans a large funeral. Aunt May almost couldn't bear going to Peter's public funeral, but she managed to come and met a little girl Peter saved from a fire. At the funeral, Cap expresses his remorse to Aunt May, feeling responsible. Shortly after Peter's death, a masked vigilante dressed in a Spider-Man costume begins fighting crime and is revealed to be the young Miles Morales. 